Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soraya, and today I wanna talk about the fear that many of us have had or are currently having on the twin flame journey, and that is the fear that your dream won't come true. And this could come in many different forms. This could be relating to many different things on your twin flame journey. Maybe it's that you know, you've know you reached a certain point where based on the things that you're seeing outside of you, you feel like maybe you won't be able to get married to your twin flame and that's a dream that you have. Maybe you won't be able to have children with your twin flame and that's a dream that you have. Maybe you won't be able to come together and have a certain kind of life or lifestyle. Maybe your twin flame just got a job in a different country and it looks like how can we have the life that we desire to have together or that I've always seen myself having with my twin flame. And so we can sometimes have this fear that we won't be happy with our lives and that life isn't going to love us in the way of meeting our desires and fulfilling our desires. And so I wanna really talk about what desires are and I wanna address really the fear here. Desires come from God. Jeff and Shalia talk about this in their e-course, Dreams Coming True, um, that desires is desire of the Father. It comes from God. We discover our desires. We don't come up with them out of nowhere. It's a revealing of, oh yeah, like I'm drawn to this. I want to have this experience. And that's in us. God put that in us, just like God put a desire in our heart for our twin flame. And we have a twin flame. God puts the desire in our heart and God fulfills it. The thing about that is our role in this is not actually to know what that looks like. I wrote a blog a long time ago. It was probably years ago. It's on my website um, about romance uh, with twin flames and how something isn't romantic if you know what's going to happen before it happens. Like what's romantic is not like when you're in control of every little piece and you know what's going to happen next. No, like real romance is when you're delighted by God and your twin flame when God does that thing that you didn't expect. And like, let's say your twin flame takes you on a spontaneous date and it's something that you didn't even know that you wanted or would enjoy. It could be even something small, like your twin flame just saying or doing something around the house that really like just touches your heart and really speaks to you in that place and that love within. That is something that God is doing for you through your twin flame. That's God loving you. That's God romancing you. And if you're in control of that entire process, you can't be delighted in God the same way that you can be when you surrender control and allow God to romance you. And so the same is true with our desires. God put these desires in our heart and God fulfills them. But God gets to decide how that unfolds. And really what we're attached to when we have a belief that we want our vision or our desire or our dream to come true in a certain way is that we want to feel safe and reassured that we are safe and that our desires will be fulfilled and that we're not going to be disappointed, that we're not going to be left heartbroken. And so there's actually a fear there that causes us to feel attachment to seeing our dreams come true in a very specific way that we feel like we want to be in control of. And that fear is the fear that we're not gonna be okay, that we're not gonna be loved and that we're not gonna be supported and that God is gonna leave us hanging, that God is gonna leave us heartbroken. And you can heal this with the mirror exercise. The mirror exercise is linked beneath this video. It's what I help people with in coaching sessions. So if you would like support with me, um, well, from me, you know, to work through that particular upset or anything having to do with twin flame separation and all the feelings that come up as a result of it, um, you can find all of that information down beneath this video as well. I would love to support you in that. I've, I've worked through a lot of this stuff myself personally, and, you know, it's something that's very common on the twin flame journey. So, you know, ultimately, this fear is something that you don't have to accept, you don't have to live with, you don't have to be like, well, I guess I'll just see what will happen. And deep down, you're actually really upset about what it looks like is happening in your life. Um, and so it's important to work through those upsets and find peace. You never have to stay with a bad feeling. Jeff and Shalia talk about that all throughout TFAST, Twin Flame Ascension School, that we never have to accept less than love in our life and that we deserve love. And that with the mirror exercise, essentially what we're doing is we're choosing to love ourselves in places that we haven't before. 
And so you're worthy of that. And the truth is once you've worked through all of the upsets about, well, what if I'm not able to have children with my twin flame, the fears associated with that, you know, what if I'm not able to get married to my twin flame? What if we're not able to live together? What if this situation over here prevents us from being together? As we worked through all of those fears and those upsets, it could be grief, it could be anger, which is covering up a more vulnerable feeling underneath. Um, Jeff and Shalia call it a way of numbing out because really, and, and psychology also calls it a secondary emotion, which means that there's another feeling underneath that. Um, as you process, those feelings, you'll find that you actually feel peaceful in this moment and you feel safe to surrender to God and you feel safe to trust that God loves you and you know that you're loved because you're loved in this moment with God. And so when you're with God in this moment, you see that God is always with you. It's only when you feel separate from God in this moment that you imagine that you're going to be separate from God in the future. And so really the mirror exercise and the inner work that Jeff and Shalia teach is about being with love now, being with your twin flame within now. And so it's a lot safer. It feels a lot safer <laughs> to surrender, <laughs> you know, how things are going to be and how it's going to look on the outside when you're already fulfilled. It's like you have the thing on the inside before it ever manifests on the outside. You know, it's funny, like, you know, a lot of people think that when their twin flame comes back, like if they're experiencing separation and they heal separation with this work, they imagine that when their twin flame comes back, they're going to be like, yes, my twin flame is here. It happened. It worked. Oh, I feel so good. And yes, it did happen. It does work. And you do feel so good, but you're not feeling good because it's coming from outside of you. What's funny about it is that you already feel like you have harmonious union before it manifests on the outside because it's an inner state. It happens on the inside and it gets reflected on the outside. So the beautiful and empowering thing about this work is you don't have to wait to have your dreams fulfilled. You can have them all fulfilled now. And that's what Jeff and Shalia's work is all about. You experience the fulfillment of your dream, the energy that you desire within yourself and you feel that oneness with God there and then it manifests on the outside. It's just a reflection. It's like a barometer to show you how you're feeling on the inside. So, no, you do not have to, you know, give up your dreams. You're not going to lose your dreams. God put those desires in your heart so that he could fulfill them. But you must surrender control and allow him to love you there. And you don't have to make yourself do it. You don't have to control yourself to do it. But you do need to look at the places where you're afraid to surrender. And maybe you doubt whether or not God loves you. Maybe you doubt whether or not he's going to be faithful. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to be left heartbroken. These are all upsets that can be worked through. Um, but your dreams will come true. And sometimes God knows your dream better than you do. So you might see like, oh, but Soraya, this is impossible because it's already happened where I can't have my dream because my dream was this and it being this particular way. And look, it's already made it so like life has already happened in such a way that that's not possible. Like, let's say that, you know, your twin flame married somebody else and you had a desire um, to be the first person to marry your twin flame, like, you know, legally. Um, I say legally because, you know, there's also uh, the Church of Union uh, with Twin Flames Universe, Jeff and Shalia. Um, the Church of Union marries couples in harmonious Twin Flame Union. And so you can actually see weddings of students of this work who have healed separation with this work, come together, come into harmonious union and gotten married with this work. Um, so that's really cool. The Church of Union YouTube channel. A uh, little side note, but... Um, you know, maybe you have that desire that you wanted to be the first one to marry your twin flame legally. And they've already gone off and married somebody else on the outside. And you're like, but Saraya, I can't have that dream because literally life has shown me that it's, it's done. Like the option is off the table for me to have that particular experience. But what I want to point you to is it's not that literal experience that you want so bad. It's actually the feeling that you believe that being the first one to marry your twin flame in that way would give you. So it's not the thing that you thought it was that you desired. It was actually the feeling that you thought that that was going to give you. And so, you know, sometimes we come to find on this journey that life may not always go the way that we expect, but that doesn't mean that our desires can't be fulfilled because what we want is to experience love in a certain way. And that's something that we can always have with God. 
You're never gonna lose your good. No one can ever replace you with your twin flame. You can't lose your opportunities. You can't lose what is meant for you. But what you must do is know that you're loved. And the inner work, the healing journey is what allows you to come to a true revelation of that. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it was healing for you on your journey with whatever you're experiencing right now with your twin flame. Just know that you're loved, know that you're supported, that I'm here for you if you would like my support. Like I said, all those links are down beneath this video. And um, if this video was helpful to you, please do like and subscribe to this channel. That helps me share this message with more people. And I will see you guys in the next video.